I just have a very special testimony um, about God and His grace. Um, he changed my name in 2016. And in 2018, He sent me out. And um, I always thought that when I was finished with social work, I was finished because I went into business. But I forgot what I said when my children were still small and I changed from social work to business. I said, when they are finished studying, I'll go back and I'll do social work. And he called me back this year, um, last year, 16 months ago, he, I got a call, come help. And I didn't want to. My first thing was no, no ways. I'm not going in there. And my husband had to help me, he had to take me to the interviews when they wanted my CV, all of that. And when everybody else asked me, what am I doing? I say, I'm helping. But that was my power weapon, helping. I didn't go in there knowing everyone and knowing everything and even being qualified because I was no longer registered. But God, when I stepped in there, um, we think that when God says we are the kingdom, that we expect everybody else to know what that means. But I saw how God came through me. I had to put myself aside every day and say, not any, but God. When I had to step into the meetings to fight for the children, whose lives were wrapped around a religious spirit and get them out of their jaws. And at the end of June, um, this children's home where I work, they decided they're going to close doors because they wouldn't listen to God. Religion was more important than Jesus. And some people left, and I was the only social worker left there with those children and we had to find places for them. So in the last two weeks of this month, I saw how God came miraculously through. People left, um, childcare workers left, social workers left, managers were fired, and I was left alone. But I realized that God was in me. And so what I couldn't shift and what all man-made positions couldn't shift. I looked to God and he came and he shifted. And within two weeks, we have 54 children placed out. Half to families who didn't just say that they want their children back, but walk the walk with Jesus. Those children that believed when Annie said, just pray, God knows you, he knows your name. See in Psalm 139, he's created you. Those children went back to their families. The others that had no family wanting to come up for them, they were placed in the best institutions where they could get the educational help that they needed because a lot of those children are really challenged educationally. And then of course, put in families in small institutions. And on Friday morning, I still had 26 children. And when I walked in there, there was no childcare worker, they all left. And I just went into my little closet and I said, Jesus, your angels are more powerful. And he gave me favor with the top people in social development that I could WhatsApp, I could call, I could email, and the children would move. And by the end of the day, quarter to nine, two little ones that the social worker just refused to come and fetch were picked up and they were taken to their destination. And this is all just God. My main word for you today is don't underestimate where God placed you. Don't worry about qualification. Don't worry about your age. Because the God in you is bigger. And He wants to use you. All He wants is, when I would get up, I would just say, yes, Jesus. 
That's all he needs. He does everything. He sends his angels. He gives you favor. When I put up my hand and I say, Annie, Annie is who? Nobody. People just, you can see, they, oh, Annie, no. But I could shift mountains. People that interceded for children. Children came to me and said, Annie, I never thought I would go to a better place. From 4 to 18, they were moved to families. You just saw the tears rolling and the thank yous. But I want to tell you, the devil pulled out all his punches, but he fell like lightning. Because Jesus came, his children, and every one of us is so important to him. And so all he needs is just for us to say, yes.